So because of the coronavirus, I wasn't able to have anyone come in with me, so I had to go by myself, unfortunately, which made things a little bit more scary because um, this is just showing one of the cysts right there. And I don't think there's one on this side and then there's two small ones. I'm going to be 20 weeks tomorrow and I have really popped out. You can see his little face. It's a little side view. Let me see if I can get it for a player. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is just going to be a little different than normal. I already filmed some of the video, but I felt like I didn't really do a good job with the intro at the time because it was right after our doctor's appointment when we got the news and I was just kind of talking about um, what happened and then just how I was feeling about it. So I didn't really do a good job with the intro. And now that we have went to the specialist appointment, I have more information and I'm going to insert that at the end of the video. So right now I'm going to start out with what happened at the first appointment, which was last week at our 18 week ultrasound. It's the ultrasound that you typically get done between 18 and 22 weeks. And we got it done right when we were about 18 weeks and five days. And now I am going to be 20 weeks tomorrow. So I have a little bit more of an update. So since I was a little bit emotional and I didn't really have all the details, I kind of was leaving some things out because I just didn't retain all the information. So I just wanted to point out that the cysts that they found on the baby's brain were called choroid plexus and they are a marker for trisomy 18 um, along with some other things but I'm going to explain that. That's why I was worried and when the doctor mentioned trisomy 18 um, I think anyone would worry even if they say not to worry and that there's probably a slim chance that your baby is going to have that. I think it still puts um, worry in any parent and I know how scary trisomy 18 can be and hearing that word just pop up in the conversation after they've done an ultrasound on your baby is scary, even when they say that they don't think that there's a good chance your baby's going to have it, but that what they found is a marker for it. It's definitely scary, and I just wanted to say that here because I don't think I mentioned the name of the cyst when I was filming the video after my appointment. But now I'm going to insert that clip of the appointment and then I will explain more about it because I have a lot more information now than I did um, at that first doctor's appointment. I just wanted to fill you in a little bit on what happened at our ultrasound. So we just went to our 18-week ultrasound, which is the ultrasound that they normally do between 18 and 22 weeks. And while we were there, they actually found something that they were a little bit concerned about. They didn't seem too concerned about it, but they definitely needed to follow up with it because they want to make sure that everything's okay. So what they found was a small cyst on the baby's brain that is filled with fluid, and they did not find any other abnormalities, so that's why they aren't super concerned about it. They're saying that it's not usually a sign of a chromosomal disorder, as long as there's no other abnormalities that come along with it. And they didn't find anything like clenched fists or, um, she mentioned a couple other things that they didn't find, um, thinking that everything is probably just fine. But we do have to go get a follow-up ultrasound at a specialist next week. So I'm going to pick up the video once we find out what happens at that ultrasound, just because I'm not gonna post this video until we know, just because I don't want anyone to get worried or if any of our family sees this. I don't want anyone to be concerned until we know um, the results and I'm hoping that everything is going to be just fine and that um, This cyst will just go away on its own. They said we'll probably just be getting some follow-up appointments some follow-up ultrasounds um, Throughout the pregnancy until the cyst goes away if it does go away And they're hoping that's what happens is that it will just go away on its own So that is the best case scenario and they're saying that we shouldn't be worried and I've decided not to google anything I really don't want to worry myself anymore because obviously I'm already worried even though they're telling me not to worry. So I got a little teary-eyed at the appointment when um, they were explaining it. I was fine at first and then when she was explaining it more, it just kind of overwhelmed me a little bit. And also um, they told me that Drew's not able to come into the ultrasound with me because of the virus going around right now. So I'm the only one allowed to go into the appointment. That makes me a little nervous because if they were to find anything, then I would have to be in there by myself. But he's still going to drive me to the appointment and then the ultrasound's about 45 minutes and they do a very thorough check, they say. So 
it's going to be a very long ultrasound. So I'm really bummed that Drew can't come in with me, but I know that it's just to protect everyone and to keep less people in the office, so I'm glad about that. But I'm also really sad that I have to go to this appointment on my own. I'm hoping that everything will be fine and that there's nothing to worry about. So I'm trying to keep my mindset positive, but also, so I told myself I wasn't gonna cry while I was making this, but of course, I'm pregnant and I'm hormonal, so I'm crying a little bit. Everything's fine, and we don't even have any answers right now, so there's no use um, looking stuff up on the internet and freaking myself out, so I'm not gonna do any of that. We also found out the gender today, which is very exciting. If you're seeing this video, then we probably already posted the gender reveal because that came before this. I didn't mention anything about what they found in the ultrasound in that video just because I wanted to have all the details before mentioning anything. I really don't want anyone to be worried, especially family and friends, um, until we know more details and I'm hoping that um, we'll have everything cleared up at this appointment next week and I'm trying to keep a positive mindset and just hope for the best and pray for the best. I'm going to pick this video up once we are on our way to the appointment and that will be in just over a week, a week and one day. So after that first doctor's appointment, as you could tell, I was very nervous and very emotional because of my hormones and the news that we received. But that doctor's office that we were referred to end up calling us back that same day and scheduling an appointment for about a week out so that way we wouldn't have to wait a long time and be wondering what our results were going to be. So we got in right away. We didn't think we were going to get in for at least a couple weeks, maybe even a month but we got in the next week. So now I have some more news. So because of the coronavirus, I wasn't able to have anyone come in with me, so I had to go by myself, unfortunately, which made things a little bit more scary because I was just anxious and I didn't have anyone there with me. Drew was in the car, he drove me to the appointment, but he just couldn't come in the building with me. So the doctor allowed us to FaceTime, and while we were FaceTiming, he screen recorded some videos of the ultrasound, but there wasn't any sound. So all you can see is just kind of the ultrasound. But the ultrasound was very in-depth. We were able to look over the brain, the heart in good detail, and all the parts of the bodies. He looked at everything, and he probably spent at least 45 minutes during this ultrasound just looking over all the parts of the body to make sure that everything was okay. So at the beginning of the appointment, um, he started out by looking at the baby's brain, of course, to see that choroid plexicist. And what he found was that there were actually three cysts, and I have um, an ultrasound picture here that I'm going to hold up. Um, this is just showing one of the cysts right there. And I don't think there's one on this side, and then there's two small ones on this side, but you can't see. Um, the picture wasn't focused on those ones, so he only printed one out of this. So you can see that there. Um, that would be the cyst. So he gave us a picture of that. And at the beginning, when that happened, I was very worried because he found three instead of one. But he ended up saying that that actually doesn't mean anything different than if he would have just found one. That even though there's three, it's perfectly fine. Even though he said that, I was still kind of worried at the time. And it made me a little bit more anxious before he got to the rest of the ultrasound. So he um, measured that cyst. He measured all of them. And then he continued on to the heart. And one thing that he did say was that he was looking for markers for Down syndrome or trisomy 18 throughout the whole ultrasound and he did not find any other markers. I don't know exactly what he was doing. He was measuring something in the brain, like um, a certain part of the brain, and he said that that did not measure according to if the baby would have had Down syndrome, that um, that would have measured completely different. So that measured right on track. I'm not sure what it was. I wish I could remember. Um, what he was measuring at that time. He also checked the baby's spine and he gave us a picture of that but that's not very exciting. The spine was great and he checked the baby's heart as well. Um, I guess I'll show you the picture of the baby's heart. It's not super exciting. I can't really tell what we're looking at but it shows the four chambers of the heart and he said everything was fine with the heart. He also mentioned that when babies have trisomy 18 that there is a very slim chance that their heart is not going to have any issues because it usually affects the heart as well. So seeing that the heart was perfect and the other organs were perfect, he checked the kidneys, the liver, he also checked the eye sockets, and he was checking the hands to make sure that the hands were opening and closing on the baby and that they weren't just staying in clenched fists because he said that was another marker for trisomy 18, is that usually the baby's hands would be closed 
and since he didn't see any of those markers, he really thought that everything looked fine and that hopefully the cysts will disappear on their own by 25 weeks. And since the ultrasound, even though the cysts are still there and they haven't disappeared yet, I'm really not concerned and I'm not as worried now because he really put my mind at ease saying that everything else looked good and that these cysts do pop up in normal healthy babies and it's not really a problem to worry about because they usually disappear on their own. But he just wanted to make sure and check everything else and the doctor's office that I go to wanted to send me to a specialist as well, so that's why they sent me there. So one other thing that he pointed out while we were in the ultrasound, the only other concern that he had was that my uterus was folded up a little bit and I'm going to show you a picture of that. So as you can see here, there's a little arrow pointing to it but I have about an inch and a half of my uterus that is folded up a little bit and I'm going to have to get a little bit of monitoring done. I'm not sure what the um, medical term is for the folding of the uterus there. I can't remember what he called it. I don't think he called it anything. He just told me that it was folded. So all that they're going to do because of that is they're going to do another ultrasound at 28 weeks and at that point they can also check on the um, cysts on the brain to make sure that they have gone away. Sorry, I'm getting really out of breath. That's been happening a lot lately. So I need to slow down on my talking. So at 28 weeks they will do another ultrasound at my OB's office and they'll just make sure that the baby's growth is on track because he said what can happen is when the uterus is folded up, usually it's in cases that are much more severe than mine because mine only has about an inch and a half. Um, so he doesn't think there's going to be a problem, but he said what can happen is that the baby's growth can be restricted and even in some cases the uterus can um, rupture, but he doesn't think that's going to happen with mine. Obviously that gives me a little bit more worry to think about. I'm trying not to worry, I'm trying to just stay positive because he really didn't think it would be an issue and he said not to worry about it, but he said that the doctors will just monitor it and make sure that the growth is on track. And so far, I will show you my baby bump. I don't think the baby's growth has been restricted at all so far. I'm going to be 20 weeks tomorrow, and I have really popped out. So this is what the belly bump is looking like. So yes, yeah, so far, it's not a problem with the baby's growth. I'm measuring right on track. And also, he did take a 3D picture, so I'm going to show that here because it's really cool. You can see his little face. It's a little side view. Let me see if I can get it without a glare. It's a little scary, but you can see his face there. It's so cute. He looks so skinny still because he hasn't got the fat on him yet. And also, I just wanted to add into this video that I started feeling movements inside at about 18 weeks. It was, well, it was about 18 weeks and five days, I think. It was the day of the ultrasound, the gender ultrasound. I started feeling little movements. I thought I started feeling them before, probably around 17 weeks, but I could never be sure. It wasn't as consistent, and at 18 weeks it started to get consistent, feeling him moving around. And at 19 weeks, I can now feel it from the outside. And it's really crazy how much he's moving around. It's so fun feeling the little kicks again. I forgot how much I missed that when I was pregnant with Bryn and it has just been so fun. Overall, at my 20 weeks, I don't really have any more update than those medical things that were going on. That gave me a little bit of worry. I've been a little stressed lately, and I've just been praying about it, and we couldn't be happier for the news that we received, and we couldn't feel more thankful just to know that everything's okay right now. And even though they'll be keeping an eye on it and monitoring it, it just makes me feel very thankful that they didn't find any other markers for trisomy 18 or Down syndrome, and that he is looking very healthy. So thank you guys so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to follow along with my pregnancy journey and the birth of our baby before we know it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.